Number 54. From the equilibrium concentrations given, calculate Ka for each of the weak acids and Kb for each of the weak bases. And then we have letter D. So in this case, we have ammonia, which is NH4+. And they tell us that at equilibrium, we have a 0.100 molarity solution of NH4+. We got an NH3 concentration of 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. And then the same for H3O+, 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. So the first thing is we got to figure out, are we going to be a weak acid or a weak base, right? Because then we can solve for Ka for acid or Kb for base. Well, the answer is what uh, ion you make in solution. If you produce hydronium, which is H3O+, and just know that sometimes you might see it as H+, but if you make one of these ions in solution, chances are you're going to be acidic. You're going to be an acid. Whatever you started with is acidic. On the flip side, if you make hydroxide, OH-, you're going to be a base. The thing that you start off with is a base. So as I scan this, I do see that I made H3O plus in solution. And because of that, I'm acidic. So NH4 plus is an acid. And I could kind of see that because it does have a positive charge. Generally, if you do see positive charge, they're going to be acidic. And then vice versa, if you see negative charges, chances are they will be bases. Okay, so the next thing is let's write a balanced equation just to get everything set up. Now remember, acids and bases, they will be in water. So we will be reacting the acid here with water because water is the general solvent. So we have NH4 plus plus H2O. This is not a strong acid, right? It's not on your list of six. So equilibrium is going to happen. And they told us that we have equilibrium concentrations. Now, if you're an acid, you drop one of your hydrogens. So four will become a three. So that's NH3. And that's why you have a concentration of that. And then if you drop a hydrogen here, you add a hydrogen to H2O. So the two will also become a three. And that's how you get H3O plus. Okay, let's kind of like center this. And then let's write out our equilibrium concentrations. So NH4, they told us, was 0 0.100 molarity. NH3 was 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. And the same thing here, 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. And you might be saying, well, what about water? What's the concentration of water? Well, remember, water is the solvent, so it's going to be acting as a liquid. And remember from last chapter, when we did a lot of equilibrium work, liquids and solids are not allowed in any K value equation. So this goes bye-bye for the math. We needed to use it to get a balanced equation, but for math purposes, we don't care about it. Now remember, Ka or Kb is just products divided by reactants. For acids and bases, we don't really care about coefficients because it's generally going to be a one-to-one-to-one. -to -one -to -one. All of your coefficients are going to be one-to-one -one when it's balanced. So in this case, Ka would be equal to something divided by something else, products divided by reactants. And remember, when you have multiple products, in this case we have two, right, NH3 and H3O+, they're multiplied by each other, not added, divided by the one uh, reactant. So we have NH3 times by H3O plus divided by NH4 plus. Let's put the numbers in. So Ka equals, let's see, now I'll just do parentheses because we're doing numbers. So these are the same, 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6, 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6, divided by 0 0.100. Okie dokie, calc's out. 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6 times 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 0 0.1. Looks like we need two sig figs. Uh, so 5.6. Does anybody care at this point? No. Whoa, this one is really weak. 
I know that because the exponent is really, really, really low. So that means that once, you know, NH4 plus disassociates in water, it's not gonna. And that's why, I mean, if you look at the difference, you start off with 0.1 and, you know, you're only at 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity for your c compounds at the end, right? Your products. So this did not want to budge. And kind of makes sense. You have a really, really, really low Ka value for it. Hopefully this makes sense. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And tell your friends, tell your classmates that this YouTube channel exists. We might be able to help them out as well, especially in chem, physics, and math at the moment. Um, but yeah, more to come. So stick around. Okay. Bye-bye.